And when she was a young woman, there was another conflict, the Franco-Vietnamese War. And like all wars before it, and all wars after it, this battle tore families apart. My grandmother married my grandfather in 1947, but before they can enjoy their life together as husband and wife, he was drafted into the army. My grandmother didn't want him to leave, for at the time she was carrying their first child, my mother. But my grandmother told me later that my grandfather always had a sense of duty to protect his country, especially those he loved. Raising her daughter alone, she waited patiently for the next seven years for her husband to return. So much time had passed, she had never given hope. Until one day, she had a dream, and in it, it was Grandpa saying goodbye one last time. As she woke up from the dream, she realized that Grandpa had left this earth. That day, she no longer wore her hair clip. Although heartbroken, Grandma persevered, and together, with my mother, the two moved to South Vietnam. There's an old folk song which always reminds me of my grandmother and grandfather's love story. It is called Ngui Ai Ngui Ai Dung Ye, which means, please, don't leave my love.
How did you two meet? My mother said she met my father during school. He was a very handsome but quiet boy. Their love was bittersweet, like the folk song Fa Thum Boom Boom, which means fragrant flowers, fluttering butterflies. From the first time they met, my mother thought they were destined to be together and would never have to be apart.
another freeze dinner